you're now medically cleared heading into your match this weekend there on WWE Payback. So between that, the history between you and Ripley, tell me a little bit about how you're feeling heading into that match this weekend. Oh, there are so many emotions that are going through me um, leading up to this weekend. You know, there's a lot of anger and I guess pent up aggression from her hurting Liv, hurting me, um, causing us to lose our tag titles. But I'm trying really hard to kind of harness all of that angry energy and contain it because I know that, you know, Rhea's got the numbers game on me right now. She has her tricks and um, she's become a different Rhea from the one that I started with at the PC. So I have to keep my head on a swivel this weekend. I got to be ready for anything. And tell me about that because y'all do have quite a history together. Do you still have the same matching tattoos that y'all got? We do. Yeah. Oh, it's a little R and R. Um, yeah. I mean, we have these matching tattoos. We have a couple that we went and got together. It was just, we, we started at the PC and we were both kind of these like lost, I guess, just from the group of the women's division. We didn't know where we kind of fit in. We didn't know where we belonged. Um, so we kind of struggled a lot when it came to showing what we could do and what we could provide to NXT. Um, so we kind of bonded in that sense. And then we bonded in the gym too, because we were both lifting so much weight. It became that friendly competition that you just, you just love to have when you have a gym partner, whenever we would go work out, she would push me to lift more. And I think I would give her that same energy. Um, so we do, we have a long history together, <laughs> a really long history together. And we had our little rivalry in NXT and then um, things kind of changed when she got called up to raw and we kind of built back our friendship and then things have been a little different since she's joined judgment day. Um, I haven't seen her as much. I haven't talked to her a lot and just, you know, her overall attitude has been not the same Rhea that I once knew. That's for sure. I don't, and if you, if you don't like this term, forgive me, but I kind of like this matchup between y'all. You're a bit of an underdog in this scenario. You could possibly dethrone her. When you hear the term underdog, is that something that you embrace? A hundred percent. A hundred percent. I think the underdog is always underestimated, um, but it's such a good story. It's such a good position to be in because the only way an underdog can go is up, you know, like, okay, I am yeah. the underdog going into this, into this battle. Rhea has been arguably the most dominant female in WWE's women's division at the moment. I have yet to have my moment. And I think this is my moment. This is my moment to show the WWE universe, to show Rhea Ripley, to show the women's division that I am just, if not more as dominant as Rhea Ripley. And I can hold a women's title. I've been up here for just over a year right now. And I think this is my biggest match yet in my career. And so I'm so excited for that. And going in as an underdog makes me even more excited. This has been building up for four weeks now. So I know if I'm feeling anxious, there's a lot of people who have connected with me and are feeling anxious too. And don't worry, guys, we're going to do it. <laughs> it's going to happen this Saturday. 